All right, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Young Twan. I'm back with another video. Now, before we get into this video, uh, at the time of the recording, we're at 699 subscribers. We're just one subscriber away from hitting 700 subscribers. So, uh, if you're watching this, go, like, get off full screen and go subscribe to the video so we can hit 700. And the next goal is going to be 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, like the video, subscribe so we can get to 1,000 subscribers ASAP. And uh, after that, you know, it will just keep going crazy. I'm going to keep dropping these videos every day. Uh, I see a lot of positive feedback. You know, I get a lot of people saying, like, thank you for the inspiration. And whoop, whoop, whoop. so, uh, you know, it really means a lot. And uh, it's the main reason why I do these videos. So, uh, so yeah, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you all how I made this palace uh, inspired loop. Uh, it's kind of like a sample um, inspired by him and inspired by some of his productions. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it and uh, show, break down the sample. So let's get to it. So I'm in the FLP right now. And first off, I started with this uh, Omnisphere. I pulled up Omnisphere and I picked this Emerge Victorious 2 preset. Uh, and I laid uh, these chords down. So that's without the effects. So yeah, pretty simple. Then for the effects, I just added a uh, EQ. And then right after that, I added this uh, Omnisphere again. And I picked the Electrovibe Dolce, Dolceola. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Um, but I played uh, these following the chords again. I just played these right here. So that's without the effects. With the effects, I added a uh, EQ to cut the lows out, an effect rack with the rock lead vocal, uh, where I turned down, where I turned off the decapitator, uh, and then I added a guitar rig uh, with a uh, certain preset I used. I picked the change direction preset right here, and then finally I added this cassette with the default uh, settings. Um, and I just turned down the static uh, and this is what it sounds now with the effects. So yeah, next up I went into contact and I wanted to add a top line. So I opened up orchestral essentials, this library in contact, very good library, good sounds in there. And I picked this legato oboe um, preset and I went and uh, laid this top line again without the effects. It sounds like this. And now with the effects, I added an EQ. Uh, <laughs> I did nothing to, uh, but then I added this guitar rig and this is what really sauced it up. It was the Durbanville drums preset uh, and I turned off this ring modulator and uh, this is what it sounds now with the guitar rig. It sounds really cool and there's a phaser in there which like makes it go from like right ear to left ear but like very subtly and uh yeah i just really like it then um for the last sound of the sample i added this contact again from the orchestral essentials and i added this box organ and uh without the effects again it sounds like this oh yeah i just copied the notes from here from this um the atmosphere you know electro vibe uh, thing and i just copied them and just it was just to layer it, add some harmony, and uh, yeah, this is it. So without the effects, now with the effects, I added an EQ where I, you know, really kind of cut it down. Um, oops. And then I added this Verb Suite Classics with the key ambience uh, preset and an effect rack with the liquid vibe uh, where I turned down the mix of this uh, primal tap and the mix in the sound toys uh, effect right thing and this is what it sounds like now with the effects
So yeah, the main reason why I cut it down so much with the EQ and I added so much reverb was because I just wanted it to be kind of sit back uh, in the mix and not be like so upfront in your face. Uh, I kind of wanted the electro vibe to kind of have that role more like in your face. Um, so yeah, then I rendered it out as I always do as audio files and rearranged the sample, rendered it uh, so that it can be just one audio file and um, turned down the sample rate again to, I turned down the sample rate to, oh, let me see, to 16,000, um, you know, just always to, you know, give it that more vintage feel. And uh, this time I added uh, some final effects to it. I added an EQ just to cut this frequency out uh, that I didn't really like. Then I used a good hertz wow control with the 7.5 IPS tape preset uh, where I turned down the um, amount uh, knob uh, to 3%. That's, and the amount knob is pretty much the detune knob. Um, so yeah, and then I added this J37 from Waves with the Abbey Road default preset. And finally, uh, Isotope Vinyl, where I put the year to 1980, and the wear, I turned up the wear knob a tiny bit and a tiny bit of warp depth, or a tiny bit of um, uh, detune. And uh, this is the final sample. So yeah, pretty much the way I rearranged it, uh, I have just the chords and the kind of trumpet oboe type thing at the beginning. Then I have uh, the oboe that, you know, leaves and then I uh, bring in the um, electro vibe and the box organ. You know, just for some tech, just for, a, you know, a different part. And then I take out the box organ right here. And then for the end, I just have the chords. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this sample. Pretty sa pretty simple sample, uh, simple loop. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, could uh, learn one or two things from it. So yeah, let me know what you want to see next. And go like the video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.